Are you at the point in life where you're thinking about buying a home and you just don't know where to start? Or have you actually gotten the process started and you feel like you don't know if you're heading in the right direction or not. Even if neither of those are you, if you believe at some point that you're gonna buy a home, this video is gonna be for you. What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Mortgage Millennial. My name is Chris and I'm a loan officer and located in the state of Florida. If you know this channel, I decided to make this page because I wanted to simplify the home buying process for everyone because I remember when I first got into the real estate and mortgage market, it was almost like learning a second language. And can you imagine how many people before they buy their first home, they don't even know the basics of the home buying process, like the difference between a APR or interest rate or what closing costs are and so many other topics that I've discussed in the past and that I'm going to end up discussing in the future. So if any of that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the topics that I go over in this channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the seven essential things you need to do before you actually buy a home. Now, before we get into the topic, we have to consider why these seven things or tasks are important. And basically, here's why. On average, it takes about six months to actually prepare to buy a home. And most people don't just wake up up and decide they're gonna buy a house and just walk in and buy the home the same day. What you do in the six months is actually gonna determine what you'll qualify for, um, how much your interest rate can be, and how much money you'll save on closing costs, and a lot more. However, if you choose to do nothing in the process, it could cost you a lot of money in closing costs, probably extend your timeline and worst case scenario, maybe lose the home that you're looking to go for. Now, now that you have an idea on the importance of uh, the process you need to take in getting into home ownership, let's get into the first essential task you need to do before you buy a home. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. By the way, there's no order of how important these are. I'm just throwing them in as I speak. First, improve your credit. And I know there's a group of people out there that'll be watching this video that already have amazing cre credit. You should still find a way to improve that score because honestly, I lost count on how many times someone like came to me and told me their credit score is above 720 and it ends up being like in the mid 600s. Now, they're usually still able to qualify, but they possibly could have gotten a better interest rate if they had the score that they actually thought they had. The second task I would say uh, is very important is to study three zip codes that you would like to live in. And honestly, this is disregarded a lot. It's honestly very important because you, you know the saying, you can pick your nose, you can pick your friends, uh, but you can't pick your family. But the same thing applies here with your house. You can pick your furniture, you can pick your house, uh, but you can't pick your neighbor. And what this means is it would be more beneficial for you to follow fall in love with the location rather than the home itself. If you end up in a location that you don't actually like, there's no repairs you can make or adjustments you can make to the house that can change anything about the location. The third is to actually start a budget. Now, I'm not too big on budgeting, and honestly, I stray away from using the word a lot on this channel, but when you're in the process of buying a home, there's an exception. Your budget that you create will help you with understanding what you can afford when it comes to your monthly total mortgage payment. I put emphasis on total monthly mortgage payment, and it'll give you an idea of what the maximum value of the home that you choose can be. Fourth is understand and calculate your closing costs. If you have no idea what closing costs are, I'm gonna leave a card above. Go back and watch that video that I made and then come back to this video. The reason you wanna calculate uh, this is because you wanna have an estimate of how much money you need to pay up front outside of the down payment. I'm gonna leave a website down in the description so it can give you a better estimate of what closing costs are. Keep in mind it's an estimate and it's not exact. Fifth task, I would say, is start saving. You know, you're gonna figure out what your closing costs are and you're gonna figure out what your total monthly mortgage payment will be. Now it's time for you to actually save to meet that exact mint number and have at least like three months of your mortgage payment already before you actually get into the home. Now, I'm being very generous when I say three months because I usually say six months, but at this point, you're usually halfway through the process, so when three months pass, you'll have another three months of savings in your account, so it'll be a total of six months of savings when you walk into the home. Six is to calculate your DTI, which is debt to income. If you're not familiar with how to do this, uh, just take your total monthly liabilities like credit card bills, student loans, car payments, and whatever, whatever else you have, and then also add in that total monthly mortgage payment that we calculated earlier, and then take that total number and divide it by your total monthly income. Make sure the number that you get out of this equation is lower than 56%, otherwise it's gonna be hard for you to qualify for any mortgage program. Last but not least is throw all of your emotions out, okay? Yes, buying a home is a big deal, brings a lot of excitement, brings a lot of joy, fear, and whatever other emotions that you can have that is bottled up. However, we tend to make really poor decisions when we involve our emotions. Either you rush into a home because you made up your mind that this is what you need to do, when really it's just your pride telling you what you need what you need to do. 
or you don't get a home at all because you keep pushing it off out of fear. Do yourself a big favor and take all your emotions and throw them out the window. Once you follow all the seven tasks uh, before you buy a home, you set yourself uh, for the best success. And then you make the decision whether you win a home or you walk away. That's gonna be your best friend there. Thanks for watching all the way through. Before you go, I'm gonna ask you one more time if you can like and subscribe to the channel. It's gonna let me know I'm doing a good job. And if you can leave a comment with any suggestions or questions that you may have, I can possibly do a video about it next, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Peace.